Hey guys, well, this is what I did to get a 2024 Street Triple stock welded system to work with a slip-on. And uh, it was it's a 2021 header that I found on eBay for a couple hundred dollars. It's a takeoff part, uh, so it was brand new, came with a heat shield, an O2 sensor, and uh, that I, I thought that was a pretty good price. And then the system, uh, the slip-on system was a Yoshimira, it was a $650, so roughly $850 plus dollars. Um, I had a a, a relatively cheap system compared to getting a complete system that could be two thousand dollars plus so and then i can if i feel like changing the, a slip on in the future i can uh so you'll see the weight differences uh it was very easy to put on it took me about 40 minutes but i'll explain that in the video and uh yeah so um i want to do an install video but it didn't work out uh, my 360 camera really didn't pick up the light properly and it just didn't work out but i explained to everything everything in here we go for a ride we can listen to it db killer in db killer out so enjoy all right guys uh i gotta apologize i just did not my video for the install did not come out well i tried my 360 camera and it just didn't it just came out terribly i thought terribly terrible it was just a terrible deal i thought it you know the lighting wasn't right and the phone does a better job when he, on these uh in the garage and uh i thought i could cover every angle and i wouldn't have to move the camera much but it didn't work out so i put the the uh, yoshimira on and it has the baffle in it uh, i had the baffle out for a ride and it's loud and because of the placement of the of the muffler it's right near your ear so it was a little bit annoying um it's funny the fz with the you know, the muffler came out to about here and uh without the baffle it was fine it, it didn't bother me at all and maybe it bothered the neighbors but it didn't bother me but so i'm going to ride around today with the baffle in and i'm sure oops sorry about that <laughs> it'll be okay so i just uh, real quick it's not a hard job to do it did me i did it took me 40 minutes even with the camera you know trying to Talk on uh, camera and everything. It took me 40 minutes to do the job. It's super simple. I uh, got the Yoshimira um, slip on for a 2023, the 2020 to 2023, or 2019, 2023, because the 23 models in the US are the same as the 22. Anyway, because um, this is not you know an exact fit, supposedly, but it fit exactly. So I'm just going to go real quick um, what I did with the. Uh, the header. So the header is uh, 2021. I got it off eBay for a couple hundred dollars. You can't uh, go wrong. As you can see, the bolts, the nuts here, they're very easy to get to. You loosen this, uh, you take this bolt out with this clamp here, with this uh, bracket, you move the radiator forward, you can get to everything. Header drops down, piece of cake, no problem. Um, even though it's all welded one system, I'm going to show you the system real quick. Um, but um, you had a drill, there was a problem with a bracket here. This bracket here, let's see, would hit this crossover tube because it was too low the hole. So I put this little plastic plug in it, modified the plastic plug and put it in there, redrill the hole. Thanks to a, a gentleman on, uh, on one of my videos said that all you do is have to redrill the hole. I did some research. I knew I had to do something, but I wasn't sure. And uh, he made it easy, a piece of cake. Also, you have to mo remove, uh, when you're doing the header, uh, you have, before you do the, you just remove this. It's got two, yeah, let's see if we can get the camera. There's one and there's another one back there. And that drops right down. Super simple. It's really easy. If you can change the oil, you can do this this job. It's not hard at all. I was lucky with this header. I found it on eBay. It came with the O2 sensor already in it. It's not a big deal. Easy to change. But it also came with something that really surprised me because the, the, the cat on the factory header is really fat. And you see it. It's hard to see it because you're leaning the bike this way all the time because of the kickstand. But you do see it. Well, he included I got to thank this gentleman. When I go on eBay to give him feedback, he included the uh, heat shield. I guess it's called a heat shield, and it just looks very factory-like. I mean, it looks more factory-like than the the 2024 model because you get to see this big old fat uh, catalytic converter, which is much bigger in diameter than uh, the 2023, uh, 2022s, 21s, 23s. But it was a simple uh, bolt-on, very simple, as you guys can see, uh, easy to do. Uh, I know I don't know if you guys noticed. I put the horn. I raised the horn up. I don't like the horn sitting down there, so I raised it up here. So, yeah, it was it's super easy to do, guys. Very easy, and I wish I I wish I could have. Uh, if I had a different camera, I'm not gonna about to do another install video just to show you it. I'm just not gonna do it, guys. Sorry, uh, but it was a very easy, um, very easy project. Very easy, and it sounds really good. It's loud with the. Uh, I'm gonna go for a ride and show you, and I, I'm gonna throw a real quick clip in of it without the uh, uh, DB killer and. Uh, and then I'm going to ride around today and see how it is. Hopefully, the mic will pick it up. But we're going to just pan over here real quick to where the old exhaust is. Let me just move some of this junk out of the way. Uh, and so, yeah, this is just the diameter. This is just huge. And you see this from underneath. 
And, um, but uh, as you can see, it's just, I'm just trying to focus a little bit. I got it on my shelf here. But it's, it was easy to do, but it's all one piece, guys. It's just all one piece. So, oh, batteries in the way. Um, yeah, I should have been doing this better too, but yeah. And it's, it's, and then I did a, I weighed it. And so the, I put it on the scale. I put the, the new header I have on, uh, which is a factory header, and the Oshimira exhaust. And then I weighed this. This was 21.4 pounds. And um, the new system was uh, 11.4 pounds. So it was, a, it was, it was a 10 pound difference, a solid 10 pounds. So this bike weighs 414 pounds wet, according to Triumph. And so now it weighs 404 pounds. So you can't go wrong. I mean, that's a light bike making 130 horsepower. So it's a good power to weight ratio. And uh, anyway, we're going to go for a ride. And uh, I'll just talk about the exhaust. And it's not going to be a long video. It's just going to be a, the longest video is me just bullshitting right now. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah. So um, bike has been so far so good. I think I'm almost, almost, uh, almost 400 miles. And then I'm going for a ride tomorrow. So I'll easily have my 600 miles. I'll do my, uh, got my oil and my filter. Uh, on the way and uh, we'll do that and uh, you know go through every all the nuts and bolts and it should be cool all right guys uh, I want to take the quick ride you just seen the video of I'm sorry I got to apologize again I just didn't install just didn't go right so I just wanted to hop on the bike and uh, just give you a sound check and I'm gonna give you a pulled over already made earlier before and after with the not before and after um, with the DB killer in, with the DB killer out, so you'll just, uh, you're going to watch that right now, and then we'll um, take a ride on the bike and see how it sounds. Hopefully the mic will pick it up. I changed the gain, so hopefully it'll be good. So uh, just uh, look at the uh, DB in, DB out, and I'll be right back. So uh, you see how it sounds now. It may not sound like a big difference, but it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference in riding because where the muffler is on the bike, uh, it's like just right below my head. So you hear a lot of it. So I'm going to use the DB uh, killer. It's just, uh, it's, it's loud. So, but this is not too bad. So yeah, a little downshift. Not bad, not bad, it sounds good. I like it, but it's not annoying. I, I rode uh, the other day with it, when I uh, right after I did the install, and uh, I did both, and uh, cruising, like I'm, now I'm sixth gear, cruising 50 miles an hour. Um, let's get up to 50. See if it's annoying, droning, nope. I mean, you hear it, but it's not like, it's not annoying at all. Uh, and the faster you go, Let's see, let's get up to um, 60. Still good, still comfortable. Let's try 65. Not a problem, 70. 70 is the nicest. It seems like it likes to be at that 55 to 6,000 RPM range where the bike is the smoothest, oh, which is, that's cool. Let's see what we get, we'll do it right here. Well, hopefully that came through. All right, guys. Um, yeah, one more hit, and then we'll call it a a night. Not a night. Call it a day. Yeah, it sounds good. It does sound good. I'm liking it so far. So good. I like the way it looks. I like the way it sounds. little cracklies here and there but all right guys so 
I'll be back. I'll be back soon. Um, I'm going with my buddies um, tomorrow. I'm going for a ride. I'll have the camera with me. Hope something exciting happens, and uh, we'll do another video. I'm going to take the uh, the Triumph, and uh, uh, they're excited to see my buddies. So hopefully, I uh, will switch bikes, and uh, they can let me know what uh, they think of the bike. But uh, yeah, all right. Again, guys, apologize. I wanted to do that install video. I'm just not that. Uh, I just didn't have it set up right, but. Uh, Maybe when we do the oil change, I'll be able to do a better job. So, all right, guys, we'll be back later.